Hey there YouTubers, it's Don from True Cable coming back at you again. This time we're going to talk about Ethernet cable testers and which is best for your application. And so, why, why do you want to test your Ethernet? I mean, you terminated it right, you know, you, you, you're, you're relatively sure it works properly. Well, you really need to be sure because you're looking at your cabling system to function the way you want it to and give you the speeds and everything you need. So, um, it, the, testing Ethernet is important. The problem is though is that testers can come very inexpensive or very expensive and it's also very confusing as to which testers are right for your needs and what does what. So Dave Harris and myself are going to explain the various types of testers you're going to run into and which is probably the best fit for your needs depending on what you're up to. So uh, with that we're going to go ahead and get into the various types of testers. Dave, go ahead and uh, start us off on the most basic kind of tester. Well, I carry one of these just about everywhere I go. This is called a wire map tester. This is just one example from one company. There are many that you can buy, uh, many different designs. But actually what it does is it makes sure that you have positioned the various wires in your Ethernet channel in the right place so that the circuit is complete and well, the circuits, because multiple, multiple pairs, but the circuits are complete and uh, not shorted uh, and in the right positions. Uh, it's very, very handy when you're doing production work uh, and just need to make sure that your cables are constructed the right way. Uh, it's got a remote that goes on one end of the cable, the uh, main unit goes on the other end of the cable, uh, push the test button and it will tell you that everything is hooked up properly. If it is, it will tell you that your shield is complete. If you have a shield in your cable and it actually is functioning properly. But it will also tell you if you have any opens in your wiring. It will also tell you if you have any shorts. It will even tell you if one of your conductors is shorted to the shield. It's very handy for quick work. Pretty inexpensive as testers go too. Uh, usually less than $100 for this type of tester called a wire map tester. And uh, what, what does it not tell you? It doesn't tell you a lot. It won't even tell you if your cable will work. It just tells you that you've got things in the right places. It won't tell you if your cable will carry data at a certain speed. Um, it won't tell you uh, anything about signal loss. Uh, it won't tell you anything about where a possible fault is located. Uh, you have to figure that out for yourself if it shows a problem. So there's a lot it doesn't tell you. It doesn't tell you more than it does tell you, if that makes sense. But when you're doing lots of cables, uh, one after another, it's a good place to start to make sure at least that you got connections where they're supposed to go. So it's pretty basic. Though. It's a verification. Very, very basic. Yeah. yeah. Uh, can I borrow that for a second? Absolutely. Get that dongle off there. Just pull straight out. Straight out. Yeah. There we go. Okay. So essentially, just lets you know if the wires are hooked up in the right order, but it doesn't give you anything more than that. It doesn't give you proper length. doesn't give you performance data. It doesn't tell you if you're cable will even handle PoE. Before we talk about the big guy, uh, an actual certification device, I'm going to kind of take you uh, and ask you to use your imagination. I'm going to talk about the next level up of testing and that is called verification, or not verification, but it's verification plus qualification. You could call that almost like a quasi certifier and they are also called BERT or bit error rate testers too. And essentially, uh, there's one device that really kind of fits that bill on the market, and that it would be the Fluke Link IQ. Um, they're in the $2,300 to $2,500 range, and that price will go up and down depending on what you're getting, because they're kitted out in different ways. But it gives you a much more uh, 
advanced picture of what your cable is or is not doing. It'll provide detailed information about uh, what could be wrong with the cable if there's something wrong. And if it passes a certain bandwidth test, uh, it will tell you what bandwidth it passes. So you know that your cable is working uh, to the speed it should. And it will let you know if PoE is working properly or not. Um, usually it comes with just a, uh, a smaller one of these, but the same color, a little bit smaller, and a remote dongle to hook up the other end. But um, it, it gives you a lot more information. So you're getting the wire map, just like with the uh, Blinky tester here. I call a wire map tester a Blinky tester. And it, but it also gives you performance data and troubleshooting data, and it records the results. So it's a reasonable thing, unless you're required by contract by, to do actual certification in your installation, a uh, Link IQ uh, validation device, we could call it, a bandwidth qualifier, is a great middle ground uh, for a lot of installers, and especially for IT people. Now, um, the next level up from, and, and, and they're in the middle of the road price too, although a lot of people consider $23 to $2,500 kind of pricey. All right, so the next level up is actual certification. Now, that is sometimes required by contract. And uh, these th this is a Fluke DSX-8000. And it is a device that uses a uh, what's known as sine waves to properly test your cable against the actual TIA standard and, and the metrics and equations that are in, the, in that standard. So it doesn't give you a bandwidth that tells you if your cable complies to a certain category. It also gives you very accurate lengths. But it can, do, it can do speed testing as well, but it's a snapshot tester. It just gives you a snapshot of whether your cable's functioning to the standard for that category and for that cable type or not. It's either good or it's not good, and it's measured against the industry standard. Unfortunately, as extremely useful uh, as, these device, as this device is, it's going to run you a minimum of $13,000, and it's going to go way up from there. So, and they also require periodic calibration, if, especially if you're looking to get a warranty out of your, uh, out of your cable seller. Some, some cable sellers require certification results to be submitted in order for you to obtain a warranty on the installation. True Cable does not require that, but we wanted you to be aware that some places uh, do, uh, some cable sellers do. So this is the most expensive option. So it's, that's the state of testers in the market. You can go $30, you can go $13,000, uh, you can go to the uh, quasi-certifier, the verifier for $2,500. Is there anything between $30 and $2,500? And the answer is, yeah, kind of. Um, you can use the basic wire map tester to do your first layer of testing. And then what you would do is use software uh, between like two computers uh, to do your uh, bandwidth qualification. Um, now, that doesn't reveal a lot of things like if there's a problem with the cable where it's at, there's a lot of things that you don't know. But at least it tells you if you're getting the speed you're looking for. Um, it, 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 but you know, even packet drops and things like that, you got to sit there and let it run and watch it. So that's really the only middle ground um, is to use a basic wire map tester and then some software uh, qualification tools on computers. But you need a fully up and running network uh, in order to do that. You need a switch, you need a router, and things like that. So, um, and the software that you're using isn't necessarily free either. There are some free tools out there like iperf3 for example but uh so that's really it as far as the market's concerned and testing your cable so you're either spending a lot of money or you're left guessing on a lot of things and that's just unfortunately the way it goes we would like it to be different but it's not any different um all we can suggest is following the proper installation practices uh, if you're constrained on budget, use the go ahead and use the wire map tester. Get your software testing out of the way if you can. And but if you are a contractor and you are actually required to certify your installation, literally certify, 
then this is going to be your only option and a second mortgage may be in your future. Um, and uh, so hopefully uh, you, you know, you're prepared to deal with something like this. And this requires training too, to use a DSX 8000 or the Link IQ does not. So that's the state of the tester market. And that's just the way it is. Uh, we would like it to be different. True Cable has been doing our best to think of different things to do about that and striking a middle ground, maybe a, a, a certifi our quasi certifier or qualifier that is reasonably priced. We're, uh, we're working through it, but it's not easy to do. So anyway, um, I think that pretty well covers the main points about testers. Is there anything did you want to add, Dave? Just, uh, I, I love my wire map tester. It never needs calibration, and they have batteries at the drugstore. And that, that's a good advantage. Yes, exactly. And it, it requires absolutely no training whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't need a fully up and running network, and you don't need to have yearly calibration and, and, and advanced training and classroom training and stuff like that. So, uh, well, uh, hopefully you found that useful. Now you understand that if you want to, uh, you know, install your Ethernet cable properly and you know for a fact it works, that there's a little more to it than simply hooking up one of these. There is a little bit more to it. And uh, you can spend a lot of money figuring it out. But if you're installing really big jobs out there, and you're, you know, even if you're not contractually obligated, you're going to save a lot of labor by having a device like this around, or even the FlukeLink IQ uh, uh, verification device as opposed to certification. Because uh, if something is wrong in the system, uh, it, it's going to be a lot easier for you to run down and cost you a lot less time. So do give some thought to like the middle ground, that being the, the Link IQ uh, option. Um, no, we don't work for Fluke Networks, but, you know, but we do know what works and what doesn't work. So with that, I'm going to say, um, I hope you found this content useful. Give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down as you see fit. Subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell. And with that, I'm going to say, and Dave's going to say, happy, happy networking. Before the time runs out, if you enjoyed this video, head to our website below, check out our Cable Academy. If you're looking for some new videos, check them out next to me. Thanks for watching.